You're watching News Channel 6, coverage you can count on. We're going to end off tonight with one last song, and it's from our latest CD, Rhythm and Business. Because when all else fails, I got to groove. Hit him up, Rocco. This morning we have a special Gadgets and Gizmos. Bud Myers is here to tell us all about it. Good morning, Bud. And then believe it or not, what you've got is Tower of Power. Just take Woody Herman's Herd, take Count Basie's best band, and you add a sanctified dose of James Brown funk, and that's exactly what you got. The sound of Tower of Power, who is celebrating 30 years of show business, believe it or not. And they're just playing rhythm and blues in a world of rhythm and blues business, which just happens to be their new CD, their 16th. And after 15 years, they're back on the streets again in Richmond for tonight's Richmond Charity Ball for benefiting Feed the Future. Welcome, Emilio Castillo, the leader and founder of Tower of Power, and Doc Kupka, or Kupka, excuse me, the funky doctor. Thank you. Baritone saxophone extraordinaire. Guys, late 60s, you're playing garage bands. I believe it was the Roadrunners. Now, how did this happen to become Tower of Power with Bill Graham, the legendary promoter of, of the Fillmore? He signed to for San Francisco Records. How did this happen? Of diligent hard work and lots of fun. <laughs> How did it feel to actually get that first record contract? Uh, uh, just total non belief. Non belief. You know, I had actually said, uh, I'm going back to visit my parents in Detroit, and if nothing happens, I won't see you again. I got you. And now, Doc, you were a funky, skinny boy playing oboe back then, right? I mean, you actually were an oboe player. And I understand this guy right here changed your life. Uh, have we got, got the shot of that? Have we got it? We may not have it. We may, well, we may not. Otis Redding, you saw Otis Redding, and this was a big thing in your life. Yeah, when I was in college, um, actually I heard Otis Redding, a record, Otis Blue, Otis Sing Soul, and that's what I wanted to do, so I switched from oboe to baritone sax, and, and the rest is history. The rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Now, you know, the albums speak for themselves of the 16 albums here, starting with East Bay Grease, going into Bump City, and the entire Warner collection here, which is, is legendary. Of the albums, What's your favorite? My favorite, Urban Renewal. Got it, Urban Renewal. I like uh, Tower of Power. Tower of Power. Yeah. Of course, that's What Is Hip and some of the great songs going back to that, you still a young man. The sound, I guess, with the album here, particularly back to Oakland, was a very full sound with strings. Uh, will you ever repeat that again? We're getting ready to repeat it soon. Actually. We're doing a live album right now that's going to be coming out probably in July, and by the end of the year, We'll start a new studio album and we'll be living, using live streams again. You know, if you haven't been uh, keeping up with Tower of Power, the last nine albums, actually the last albums of the 90s here, ending with Rhythm and Business is just incredible. Now, you've got a two CD anthology that's coming up. Yeah, 30 right? year uh, retrospective on Tower of Power on Rhino Records. Okay. Coming and Doc has actually got a side project, Stroke on Super Band, with Doc and the group from San Francisco. Now, can we got the, how we can get this? We've got uh, the, the, the tag here, www. You can get in contact with Tower of Power, www.bumpcity.com. And if you want to get a hold of the doctor here and get Strokeland Super Band, you can get that at www.strokeland.com as well. Now, tonight is going to be Feed the Future. You guys yeah. are going to be jamming. Yeah, it's a great cause, you know, to help. Uh, homeless people and feed young kids that need uh, help and uh, we're glad to be here to help and do our charity work. Okay, uh, time is short and I'm, I'm real sorry but believe me their place in rock history is firm, they're elemental to the funk movement and that's what all soul music is about is lifting your soul and your spirits to the sky and these guys have made our lives a lot yeah. more pleasurable. Yeah. See you tonight at the John Marsh. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks. you Doc. All right, thanks, guys. Nice job. You didn't know Bud had that much soul, did you? I, I didn't. He surprises me. You got more soul than you'll <laughs> ever know. Well, you've seen any good movies lately? We'll show you.